What's up folks, it's Brett, and today I have another amazing product that I simply could not ignore and I had to buy. And it doesn't need too much explanation. This is the Hero Blaster 15-inch Chainsaw and Blaster. Does it have a better name than that? No, no it does not. It includes four Hero Precision Darts, and it is for Alpha Team. It's a jolt with a chainsaw poking out of it. If this doesn't scream high quality to you, then I don't know what does. It also claims to fire up to 50 feet. I've seen some other offerings from the Hero Blaster brand. It's kind of knockoff quality. I mean, I found this in particular at my local Five Below for, you guessed it, $5 plus tax. So we're not expecting the most amazing blaster ever, but we are curious. What other blaster do you know? that has a freaking chainsaw on it. This one. What other blaster has instructions that you read counterclockwise? This one. And I'm sure you're kind of wondering already then, well, does the chainsaw work? Now, for $5, do you think that this works? Of course it does. You can either fire a dart out of the front right here, or you could load this up with gasoline. You pull the back a little bit, rev it up, and then... All right, we've gotten a little too silly, and now we need to actually open it up. Now, the four darts that are included are not the highest quality ever. Big surprise. The heads are a little hard, but they're actually not as vinyl-y as I was expecting. Still, most other offerings on the market are going to give you a softer, rubbery head, so I would not recommend actually using these. We'll test them for performance purposes. You know, this is looking a little bit messy. We'll just, like, clean that up there. Perfect, it works exactly as intended. The Hero Blaster brand uh, Chainsaw Jolt, uh, what do you guys want to call this? Because it obviously needs a better name. Uh, this does not feel like the most high quality blaster ever. Big surprise, my hand mostly fits inside of here. It's a little cramped. Uh, so if you have larger hands than mine, you're not gonna like this. And the uh, priming rod is like right, right up top. So it's also kind of like almost in the way, but I guess it works. But I guess it's a little bit difficult to actually hit the trigger when your hand is fully all the way around. Ah, I'm hitting it with the inside of my uh, trigger finger. The T-pull on the top is also pretty thin, pretty low quality if I have to be completely honest, but hey, you can hear there's actually, it sounds like an air restrictor in there, amazing. This may also shock you. The plastic doesn't feel like the highest quality ever. It's a little bit squishy, most notably up front with the 15 inch chainsaw, which is in fact all plastic. So uh, no, you probably shouldn't take this around and like just swing it at people. That might be a little bit dangerous. It's. I mean, yeah, it's hard. Look at that. I already cut myself. Ow, that's from something else. I'm joking. But okay, let's play their game. Load dart in the front. Prime the top. Ooh. Fire. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. That's not, that's not okay. Try this again. Oh, that was better. Maybe I had a skill issue. Okay, that's a little bit more powerful. Yeah, that doesn't feel great either. For being as cheap as it is, I guess the weathering detailing is kind of cool, like on the red of the main body itself. You know, there's a little bit more uh, to it that makes it look like it's not just like super cheap plastic, even though it is. And the chainsaw has some definition too, so I, I'm glad they added a little bit to that. And yes, it is on both sides. That, of course, is just a sticker. We could put whatever we want there, and the handle is uh, pretty bare bones. And sadly, in its current configuration, it cannot take half darts because of this peg in the barrel. I think we might as well just open this up and make a quick modification, and then we can actually get cooking with some half darts. So we take off the eight screws and we are given something pretty simple and straightforward. But that is a teeny tiny plunger tube. Uh, for reference, here's a Nerf dart, and it is like, wow, not too far off from that size. And if I may pull this all out. Oh, is that a, oh, there's a screw. We can also take the spring out. Maybe we can get something a little beefier in there as well. And then we can hopefully just crack this open. Oh, beautiful. I'm getting some uh, early Night Finder vibes from this. Mods, how do they work? Okay, we'll put the spring back in there too. Now it's less rattly. I mean, someone could find something to do with all this empty shell space, or maybe put something in this chainsaw bit. 
might be cheap, but at least it's simple and straightforward. And we have technology. We'll start with their darts and then we'll just fire whatever. Forty-five. Forty-three. Forty-five. And about forty-five. Okay. It's kind of interesting to aim this even through a chronograph. Can't imagine how this would be in an actual game. Also, actually holding it and firing it a little bit more. This is uh, not super comfortable, but eh. It looks like X-Shot darts are doing all right, over 50. These will work for elite darts, I guess. Meh. And we can, in fact, load half darts. Gotta push them in all the way. Hey. Seems like we're still getting in the 50s. Let's try some heavies. I guess the main point is, you can use half darts, you can use full lengths, both will work just fine. Seems like uh, X-Shot darts or just regular waffle darts are actually going to get you your best performance right now. Oops. So for $5, do I recommend the Chainsaw Jolt? Well, the quality is not great. The power is pretty low, it's kind of cramped. Absolutely, buy this immediately. It's the greatest blaster of all time. 2024 has officially peaked. This company itself makes a lot of like reshells that are just single shots that are pretty boring. At least this thing has a big freaking, admittedly non-functional chainsaw on the top of it. And that's pretty funny. I'll admit that maybe it makes me a little concerned that someone will buy this to explicitly go around and try and a chainsaw people with. It would have been much preferred if something like this was made out of foam, but even Nerf isn't really making safe uh, melee toys like this anyways. So if anything, they're just following what currently exists. And someone is using a leaf blower outside right now, which I really appreciate. If anything, it sounds like the chainsaw is finally working. So <laughs> That's kind of funny, and I guess that means it's time to wrap this up. I'll try to find a link to it online, and if I do, I'll put that in the description below. Like I said, I bought this at my local Five Below. I don't know if it's widely available online. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I chainsaw that in a war, and until next time. <laughs>